Well, hello, Bubba. This is Cooter, your teacher. Uh, I'm reviewing your essay and just wanted to share a few thoughts with you about it so that I could help you maybe improve on your writing skills. So let's look at your essay just a minute. Your essay is entitled About Aardvarks, and you put your heading by Bubba. And it reads, aardvarks are cool animals. They eat ants. Some of them live in zoos. I saw an aardvark at the Dallas Zoo. It smiled at me. Well, I agree with you, Bubba. Aardvarks are cool animals. And this part right here is a very good uh, lead-in sentence, I think. I really like what you've done there. I think what I'll do is uh, kind of highlight that in red for you so that you know just how cool that I think it. I think that it is. Uh, what we need to do with your uh, with your paper, though, is we need to help you develop the format to actually do a paper. Now, the the parts that you would want to do is you would want to have an introduction at where you introduce things about aardvarks. You want to co cover three points about aardvarks. A point one, point two, uh, point three, and then you want a conclusion. And Bubba, if you'll do this, then what you do with these things is that you have developed you a very powerful paper, which is written primarily in five paragraphs. Now, in your introduction, you want to you want a lead-in sentence. And I think you really do have a good lead-in sentence there, Bubba. And then you want to, uh, you're going to want to discuss uh, or, or lead into the three ideas about aardvarks that you're going to share with those that are watching your video. Uh, you might have three things about aardvarks. One of them is they eat ants. Another is they live in zoos. And that there are aardvarks in the Dallas Zoo. So let's, let's do that. Let's make our point one, they eat ants. And you can talk about the ants that they eat. They, some live in zoos. And then you can discuss that uh, some live in the Dallas Zoo. So you really got a, a pretty good idea here. And then some con you want a concluding, uh, some conclusion, concluding remarks about uh, some remarks summing up your paper. Now, if you will go out, Bubba, and you will get into this and do it the way that I've shown you, you'll have a very organized essay about aardvark. So it's pretty cool that you've got a good lead-in sentence. Man, I like that. Aardvarks are cool animals. I would put it right here. And then you want to talk about uh, this paper was going to examine uh, characteristics of aardvarks, uh, for instance, they eat ants, they live in zoos, and some live in the Dallas Zoo. And then you want to talk about them eating ants in your first paragraph, talk about them living in zoos in your second paragraph, then maybe the ones that live in the Dallas Zoo, tell about them in your third paragraph, and then you want to sum up your paper. Okay, Bubba, now here's your task. I want you to write your, uh, work on this essay, work on your introduction, your three paragraphs, and your conclusion. And then when you get that done, send it back to me and I'll give you further review.